you see it? Right there. That is a U.S. government rimfire rifle cartridge, probably from around 1868. Very cool. Well, so far only about half a dozen of those carbine casings, cartridges. Just happened to see this little dump here. But it's all newer stuff. New as in in the last 60 years. Yeah, I don't see anything too important. Okay, I'll try not to kill myself and we'll keep looking. Okay, this is the first one from this site I have found in this condition. This is a dropped carbine cartridge. A cavalryman dropped this. And the base has rotted away. Be kind of neat to dig that out. Um, but yeah. So the bullet's there yet. That's very cool. Just kicked it off the top. Nice little round ball. Cool. What's on the end of that chain? More chain. Probably not too old. Well, I just found a half a horseshoe a little earlier, but I just dug this. That looks like half a mule shoe. Could even be donkey, I don't know. It's very small. And I'm not I'm not sure if donkey hooves are the same shape as a mule. I would guess they are. It's so cute! Well hey folks, thanks so much for joining me. Um, it's been so long since I've been out metal detecting, I just had to get out and do it. So I came to my favorite 1860s small fort there to help protect uh, to be a haven against Indian attacks in between larger forts. And, whoa, let's roll up the windows here. Uh, yeah, very little trash. Relics are getting few and far between, but what I do find, it's always good. And, uh, well, come join me and let's see what we got. Why don't I turn you around and you can hook your peepers on what I'm going through here. Cottonwoods are turning color. Okay, well I've got a nice 78, 80. I'm going to guess rifle. Oh, <laughs> I was going to guess rifle cartridge, but I see it. So I know that's what it is. Yeah, so that's a good old period correct rimfire rifle cartridge. Very cool. That'd be from the 1860s. Okay, well I've got just a plain old iron signal. 
Kind of wanting to uh, bleep up into a higher, higher number there. But if I swing right over it, you know, it's 20s and 30s. Most likely a nail. Um, but I dig everything out here. I find very little trash, so I'm betting it's a square nail or something along those lines. Let's just find out here, shall we? And there it is. Top of a nail, and that's why it was going up higher into the 70s, because it's got that hook sh shape to it. That's a nice old square nail. Probably used to hold a box of some sort together. They bent it over. Okay. The sun's coming out. Okay, I dug up this half a ring. The only reason I'm really showing it is because I find it interesting. Um, it's blacksmith made and he evidently was putting two chains together with it well, anyway he was making a ring and he welded right here and the weld failed you can tell that there so it's like only this little point here had good weld on it so they'd make they'd make a ring flatten out both ends and then overlap them and weld them and this one did not hold and when I say weld of course I mean they heated it up to welding temperature on a forge and hammered them together and uh, it worked most of the time I suppose well a bit ago I just found this cool hand forged could have been a spike could have been a bolt I don't know I like it because of how offset the head is. Anyway, I don't know if I ever showed you this in my past, in my videos from last year when I was here so much, but this little cutting in the creek bank here, coming right through those trees, there's another one over there. They must have had a couple. The Santa Fe Trail came through the creek right there and headed on out that direction. Just found a piece of a cooking vessel. Yay! Okay, my first non ferrous target in a long time. Ow. Yay! Okay, do you see it right there on top? Another carbine bullet yeah looks to me like it was dropped now it's been run over by the plow for the last 150 years or whatever that's a good little bullet beginning to think I got them all out of here already awesome yeah I just got a beautiful hook off the end of a single tree or wiffle tree, whatever you might call it. The lead chains would have been hooked to that for the harness, most likely a army or teamster mule coming through here, um, pulling the wagon. But that one is beautiful. Looks hand forged. I really like that. Now this is much smaller than usual than I'm used to seeing, the eye. So that's kind of interesting. Maybe it had another purpose than what I'm thinking, but uh, I like it. Well, it was kind of scratchy to begin with. I'm guessing another cartridge. Oh, there's a ring there. That's why it was scratchy. 
Can't believe it was still reading that high out of the ground. Let's recheck the area here. Huh, yeah, that was it. Okay. Okay, I've got mid 60s, I believe. Well, it's even going up into the 70s. I should have brought my tripod. I just. Well, where are you? way off here or something. I don't know. It's right there. That's down deeper, I guess. you crying out loud I hope you're worth it okay let me try this <laughs> Get out of here. Three hours later. Okay. Getting closer. Getting closer. Not closer. Okay. There it is, for crying out loud. Another bullet, a little bit different. Rollers for wear. Still cool. Okay, another iron target. I do not know what it is yet. Hmm. Well, that's fancy. I have no idea what it would have been other than, uh, you know, it could have been an S hook on a, some kind of hook over a fire, something. You never know, but uh, I like it. Well, we went ahead and made it back home. Didn't spend too long out there, but. Uh, the time I was out there, we found some good things. I'm inclined to believe that that's probably a spoon or ladle handle, or a big old fork or a fire poker or something, you know, would have been useful for a campfire. You saw all that. This, I found where there would have been a mud hole. Um, it's iron. I don't know shape of a butt plate but I don't know if that could be that or could be anything really lots of hardware the two bullets saw those and I didn't this horseshoe I found last year but I just wanted to compare this little mule shoe I found 
uh, in January. Quite a bit smaller. I mean, I have mule shoes that are just as big as horses, if not bigger, but, uh, so that's interesting. And of course, back in January, I found that, which there is black powder in yet. And a uh, little round ball. These always interest me because, you know, on the Santa Fe Trail, they could be from the 1820s all the way to the 1860s. You just never know. But anyway, there it is. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time.